As we mentioned, that gunman Matthew Real live streamed the shooting and the events leading up to it. CBS4 investigator Brian Moss got copies of those videos. And Brian, you've been watching that footage and gaining some insight into what the gunman was thinking. Well, if you can even call it thinking at this point, Karen, the gunman reel was disjointed, rambling, and incoherent and nonsensical. He live streams hours of video to a social media platform, Periscope. A lot of it too graphic and too disturbing. We simply can't show it. But some clips do provide insight into his mindset in the hours leading up to the shooting. I know. It's, uh, it's New Year's. Happy New Year's. Why are they knocking? They're still knocking. You do have a warrant? Civil division now? I wanted to file the domestic restraining? These guys are doing it right. Through the early morning hours, Real rambled to the camera about Civil his domestic partner, who he claimed assaulted him. Civil division now, I want my domestic relations protection order! Real called police. Two deputies arrived. I'm coming out. I don't have any... I don't have any guns on me, okay? I want to file a domestic restraining order against... My domestic partner. Okay. Okay. Well, where? can you help me? Yeah, I can. Okay, let's do that. I just feel like you're really upset. I'm not. Well, I am because I was assaulted and you didn't help me. But unhappy with the interaction with the deputies, oh. he heads back inside and shuts the door. When deputies return later, Real opens fire through a door, killing deputy Zach Parrish and wounding three other deputies. We are not sharing those portions of Real's video. After the shooting. He is more agitated. They broke my door! They broke my door in! Oh my God! Why? They said go away! You have a warrant? No! Hey, I pay rent! I told you! Where's your warrant? Where's your warrant? At times on the video, he can be seen cradling his gun. At other times, he's wearing a gas mask. As incoherent as real is, it's clear he knows what he has done. Huh, somebody's dead out there. That's what you get. In his earlier call to the Douglas County Sheriff's Department, real that he had guns and he the Sheriff's Department after they were reported, they were quickly taken down. Cover. All right, Brian, thank you.